QSO product. It is a D8 LED dappled light. Uh, QSO just recently sent me this, which is perfect timing because I need one for this garage now since I've set up the other one in the kitchen. Um, I'm very curious to see how this is. So I'll have a close look at the packaging. There is a short video of pound after that. You see it getting built instead of watching me. Uh, it's about a minute long. You can watch it if you want, um, or you can just skip past it. Up to yourself, it shows you how it's built. Then after that, we'll have a test it out. We'll see what the light is. I'll try and switch off the main light and just see how it looks. So without you waiting any further, guys, let's check out the packaging. Okay, I'm a quick look at the packaging. It's got the cue, so there's, this is nice, shiny gold uh, box on this. And, See, it just really shines well on this LED dartboard light, trolley, no shadow, silicon light strip, protected eyes, um, adjustable light, suit your eyes, fit standard dart floors, assemble structure, play darts anywhere. Nice picture of the dart itself, Two, 237 LED soft lights there, it says. On the back, again, about the LED lights, silicon cover, light strip, adjustable lights, an assembled structure and uh, just information there as well so and that's how you can find QSO on the social media platforms do give them a follow if you don't already a um, great brand out there so let's open this up oh nice right uh, a foam for the protection on it, it's got your little brackets there, your ring section here, the main plugs there, LED silicon and LED there, oh, okay, and yeah, brackets and your brackets there, that would be one's for the soft tip to uh, attach to it, and the other one would be for the steel tip, and you've got your little um, booklet there, but what I'll do is I'll play the little video that shows you how to build it up, how you're watching that, I'll build this up, uh, so the video will last a minute long, so do check it out, and I'll see you in a bit. Switch the light off just so you can see the brightness of the, the light itself. It only took me 10 minutes to build, really. I was just a little bit concerned with the brackets, making sure I put it on right and making sure I stuck the LED um, silicon lights in as well. But roughly 10 minutes. The only thing I wasn't too sure about is like it goes into your dartboard and then instead of around it. But and then I was thinking, I mean, you're chucking darts into it anyway, so it's going to get holes. But uh, it actually just goes into the edge, so you, you have little points in the brackets and you just push that at your board and that's it secure in, so you can easily just take that off um, without having to take off your, your surround. Anyway, we'll go through the, the dimmer switch, as I like to call it. So that's that there, you've got your th three uh, light dots there, and it's like green, and um, you can switch it, just clicking it. Switches it off, clicking it again, switches it on, lights up. So that is it at its brightest, uh, and again, you can adjust it to the ambiance of lighting that you'd like. So we'll just start scrolling that down, see what it's like. So yeah, oh, that, goes, that is as low as it goes, and it's just flashing all red, just saying, like, hey, that's as low as we're going to go. And it just stays red, so that's the lowest setting you can get, which is pretty decent. I mean, if you don't want it too bright, uh, depending on how tired you are and how your eyes are, uh, dimming the light down a little bit may help uh, just concentration. So we'll just scroll that back up, and that's at its fullest. So you can see the difference. 
that's that's it there that's it it's fullest um but yeah not too bad you better roly poly roly 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 i don't want too fast for it there you go but yeah it's not i don't mind that it's uh, good because sometimes i get so heads and my eyes i get tired might not want it as bright so i'd easily play with that uh, and still see the board clearly um, I think what I'll do is I'll might chuck some darts on it next and see how it looks, see if there's any shadows. We'll do that next, shall we? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll just throw a few of them just to see at random areas, see if there's any shadows kicking about. So, have a quick look. Um, no, not seeing any shadows. Looks all right there, actually. I'm trying to go for whites, um, just because that's where you really see the shadow. Um, I'm, I'm not getting any shadows off of that. Just trying to let you see what I'm seeing. So as you can see, there's no real shadows on that at all, which is good. Oh, I just made that a little bit better. There you go. I think I might have blocked myself, but I don't mind. Black, black, and black. Don't know what hat blacks. No, looks fine. That's in the lowest settings as well. Maybe black it a wee bit. I mean, that's at the lowest light and I'm not seeing any shadows and it still looks clear enough to see um, where I'm hitting. So again, I'll put that right back up to the highest setting. Ooh, it's like daylight. Let's do it again. So we just space that out. So there you go. Shadowless. Beautiful. Right. Let's do a little summary. Okay, so the QSO D8 light, uh, dartboard light system. Um, not too bad. It isn't flimsy at all. Um, it's quite sturdy on, which I do like. Not using magnets or extra brackets to hold in. Um, and it just slides into the bristle point which is absolutely fantastic. It also has brackets if you want to do it for your soft at board. So you, what you do is you screw it into your actual board. It won't damage the, the metric system inside it. It doesn't go that deep, but you can attach it to a soft at board if you have a soft at board. Um, they do say this is um, portable as well. So you can break it down and take away if you're doing like tournaments and you can set up in your hotel. The downside is I think I would have liked to have a bag to go with it if I was if you're having that idea of taking it with you to like tournaments and that and you're staying overnights in the hotels nice with travel bag would have went nice with this i think that would just finish this off really well uh, i do like how the angle lights actually hits at the board and not just round the board so that i think that's what um helps with that um no shadows and the anti-glare system on this is uh, brilliant as well uh, if you're like me and get tired eyes it, sometimes you just i usually just use like a hall light or a kitchen light and just use that instead of using the actual light on the dartboard itself at times. But yeah, for under £60 as well, really nice and um, good value for money as well. Um, I will leave a link in the description box where you can purchase this. Again, it was dead easy to set up. Um, again, I'll leave the link to the YouTube um, video if you want to watch this. Again, it's on the QSO website. So uh, if you look at the QSO website and get to watch the videos, again, you can see it says with steel tip and soft tip. So you get both brackets for steel tip and soft tip, which is 
brilliant um, so you can transition between the both boards. We'd also like to thank QSO for sending this out to me to review. Uh, so thank you to QSO for doing so. And that's it for me guys. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Turn notifications on for more reviews and live streams. And I'll catch you in the next one. Happy night guys. Bye.